Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tawadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces and the problem is like this a triangular plane lamina of size 25 mm is resting on HP with one of its corners touching it such that the side opposite to the corner on which it rests is 15 mm above HP and makes an angle 30 degree with VP Draw its top and front views in this position. Also determine the inclination of the lamina to the reference plane. Now how to solve this problem? Now one can understand we need to construct a triangular lamina of 25 mm size. So resting on HP uh, with respect to one of its corners. And then the side opposite to the resting corner is 15 mm above HP instead of giving an angle theta and then makes an angle 30 degree with VP that is angle phi is given draw its top and fan views. Now let us see how to solve the problem. Make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 one can construct an XY line and then using the text command name the respective corners of the line as X and Y after which mark VP and HP so that it is going to define as the first angle projection. Then using a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter, one has to construct a 25 mm triangular lamina on side resting for which give this angles and make sure that you are going to create a corner resting triangle properly. Then name the corners respectively as A and this is going to be the B and this corner will be taken as C. Then make use of a line command and project all these corners to the XY line to draw the front view. Now we are creating this lines so that uh, the front view has been projected. Now here this point will be marked as A dash and accordingly this points will be marked as B dash as well as C dash. And then make use of a line command with the help of 0.5 mm thick join this a dash projector and b dash c dash projector to complete the frame now after doing these things here the height is given as 15 millimeter above the hp so for which go to a line command with thickness of 0.13 just draw a 15 millimeter height line like this and after drawing a 15 millimeter height like this now one can make sure that with the help of a smart dimensions or a distance between command this height is supposed to be 15 millimeter now let us set the height was 15 millimeter now a dash will be on the xy line b dash should be on the height of 15 millimeter then how to draw this one now make use of a smart dimensions or distance between command measure the distance of this line which is measuring as 21.65 millimeter now uh, instead of this now one can select this front view completely make use of a line command sorry move command move with respect to a dash and it has to be moved on the xy line point or element after which we can create an arc by center point command with the help of 0 0.13 draw an arc with a dash as the center b dash as the radius draw an arc from b dash to the new position of b dash which is at a distance of 15 mm above hp now once again select the front view completely go for a rotate command select a dash as the fixed point and b dash as a rotating point and at the end point of an arc we have to locate the b dash now one can see that the our side opposite to the resting corner is 15 mm above HP is satisfied. Now make use of angle between command. Angle between this line and this line is nothing but the angle theta what is to be measured and it is showing as 44 degree centigrade. Then make use of line command completed stop view. Then make use of B dash that is right extreme corner with the help of the alignment indicators on now we can see b will be connected to b and accordingly c will be connected to c now the other uh, geometrical property being us in such conditions if it is a vertical the angle is 90 degree and log the angle is 0 degree so that 
we will draw the project as accurately then draw a dash to a now using the text command mark the respective points this will be treated as a and this will be treated as b and this will be treated as c and after marking a b c using a line command with the thickness of 0.5 mm join a to b and then b to c and then c to a this completes the second stage and however we have forgot to draw the dimension in the first stage so let us show that uh, 25 mm distance after which what they are saying the 15 mm we have 15 mm above hp makes an angle with 30 degree with vp now one can see that the length of b bc is not reducing hence uh, without constructing the apparent angle one can complete the solution for which one has to draw the 30 degree line first so for which we'll draw one inclined line then make use of angle between command show that this angle is 30 degree and then select the stop you in such a way that all the corners as well as the edges will be selected along with the namings and then make use of a command called as move move with respect to b and the b should be relocated on the 30 degree line after it is relocated on the 30 degree line then make use of a rotate command select b as a fixed point and c as a rotating point c should be on 30 degree line with parallel to this line also and then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 with right extreme corner start with the projectors that is c will be connected to this projector which is already drawn previously for a 15 mm height and b will also be projected for the same height and whereas a will be projected till the x y line and then using the text command name the respective corners and this corner is going to be treated as a dash and this corner will be b dash and this corner will be c dash accordingly then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter join a dash to b dash as a dark line and b dash to c dash as a dark line and c dash to a dash as a dark line and by thus we have completed the construction of this problem as per the given conditions and if anyone is having any kind of doubt you can call me at any point of time and thank you for watching my video and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also share this video to all your first year engineering students thank you guys